subscribe. Also, hit the bell button so you don't miss any videos. Hello everyone, it's me Waka. Welcome back to my channel. Happy Halloween everyone. I hope you guys are doing awesome. Are you guys excited for Halloween? Because I am. For today's video, I have an amazing and exciting content. On today's video, I'm gonna show you how I carve my first ever Halloween pumpkin. I never thought that I was gonna do this and it turned out so, so cute. This pumpkin took me around 12 to 15 hours and I know it sounds very insane. I decided to make a cute pumpkin because I'm not into like scary stuff. What's more cute than a little twin star pumpkin? Are you guys excited to see how my pumpkin turned out? Turned out like this. It's so, so cute. I'm so proud of doing my first ever pumpkin. And by the way, I did everything myself. So it was a lot of work. And also, I don't know if you can see, but the lid is in shape of a star. Isn't that even more cooler? It's so, so cute. I'm super, super proud. And it's super, super heavy. I'm covered in oil. So yeah, guys, I'm gonna show you how I carved my first ever pumpkin i really hope you like this because it's very very cute and you gotta see how it looks in the dark because it's so so cute so without any more waiting let's go ahead and watch how i made this very cute little twin star pumpkin so i got this pumpkin at work they were having a pumpkin contest i decided to join because they were given the pumpkin for free so why not i really had no idea what to do i just know that i really wanted to participate so the first thing that I decided to do was to search online how to carve pumpkins because I had no idea how to. Also, before starting this craft, I wanted to let you guys know that I didn't have carving tools, anything like that. I used everything that I could find at home. I decided to look for video how to carve, how to make details and stuff like that. Then I started to think what kind of design did I wanted to make. I know that I wanted to make something cute. You know that I love the little twin star. This was not the design that I was gonna choose at first but when I saw them wearing the witchy hat I really really like it as you can see on the monitor of the computer you can see the original design of the little twin stars I had to make the design a little bit more simpler like making their hands more simpler and also cutting their colors and their feet I made them more rounder because I wanted to simplify my life a little bit I still made the design complicated I start tracing them onto a wax paper. My boyfriend gave me the idea of modifying the little twin star picture on Photoshop so I can have a better and clear idea how the little twin star were gonna look like as a finished product. Black means that it's gonna be a hole, orange is gonna be the skin, and the beige is going to be the outline. If I didn't have made that on Photoshop before starting to carve this pumpkin, I'll be very very honest but I think I will have ruined it. Since this is the first time that I ever done a pumpkin, I decided to take as many steps as possible and take it very slowly because I didn't want to have regrettable mistakes. <laughs> so after we were clear on how the little twin star were gonna look like as a finished product, I taped the stencil onto the pumpkin. This part was kind of tricky because obviously the pumpkin is not flat. It took me a while to have the drawing as flat as possible. After everything was secure, I started poking the pumpkin, following the outlines of the drawing. I poked the whole drawing. This took me a while. After I finished poking the pumpkin, I started by using my eyeliner to trace again the outlines of the drawing because I couldn't see anything with so many dots on the pumpkin. I used my eyeliner because I had no idea where my marker was. The eyeliner wasn't waterproof, so it was very easy to wipe. Before tracing and doing everything on the pumpkin, I had no idea what should I do. If I should open the pumpkin first and clean it and then carve or I should I do it backwards. I did first the drawing and then I decided to open the pumpkin and then clean it up because what if I mess up and I already cleaned the pumpkin? I have to throw it away because I have already ruined it so I didn't want it to take any risk at all. So that's why you see me doing the drawing before uh, taking the guts out of the pumpkins. After I saw that the outline was very clear for me to start carving, I used my exacto 
I start carving the Lala's outline little by little again this took me a while at first I had no idea what I was doing but then I kind of like got used to it I kept following the outlines and everything always watching the reference because I didn't want to mess it up this step was very very long so far I can say that Lala's was super more easier than Kiki because she only had one hole which was the star at first I thought about making the holes first but I decided just to follow the outlines before doing any holes And then when I finish, I start with Kiki. Again, I saw that Kiki was ready to start carving. I used my exacto. The stars of Kiki was the most hardest because Kiki's star is behind him. So it was very, very tricky to make the holes. After I finished Kiki and Lala, I decided to focus on the stars because I had no idea again how deep the star was. I took uh, little steps to make the hole. I used the drills, I used uh, needles, I used everything I could have. I really cannot remember the, the tools that I had. You can see it with the video how I kind of did it. I really cleaned up the stars at the end. Uh, the stars were very, very tricky.
all the wiki key and lala i decided to finally make the hole for the pumpkin and i know that a lot of people like to make a circle i wanted to go you know extra i decided to make a star or well something that kind of looks like a star i did not use any template or anything now this really took me like 30 minutes or more i really don't know again i used every single item that i could have i used turkey sticks i used kitchen knife i used the drill i used the sacto and it really took me a while to finally open the lid i did everything myself i'm not like the strongest person When I finally was able to open the lid I started by carving everything, taking everything out as best as I could At first I did it with my hands My hands got really really disgusting So then I used more tools to try to take all the guts out of the pumpkin In the end it wasn't as clean as I wanted to But it got the job done <laughs> After I took all the guts out of the pumpkin, I called my boyfriend to please help me carve the inside of the pumpkin so the little twin stars outline could shine through the lighting that I was gonna put inside the pumpkin. So that took him a little bit because there was a lot of pumpkin, like I'm telling you, there was a lot of pumpkin guts. After he was done, off camera I decided to wash the pumpkin, use some borax with water and also some oils because I didn't have petroleum jelly. I have watched some videos on how to preserve a pumpkin. This is my first pumpkin so I have no idea if it's gonna last or if it's gonna rot tomorrow. And that's it. That's how I made my pumpkin. Again, it took me in total from research to final product maybe 15 to 16 hours i'm very excited and happy and proud of what i did because i never thought that i was gonna do this i'm very happy how i did it i'm very happy how it turned out and i'm glad that i didn't have to buy another pumpkin for lighting i used some red led lights that i got at dollar tree when it was valentine's season it works with battery i put it inside a ziplock and then i put it inside the pumpkin obviously turn on and that's how you get the red lighting effect i didn't use a candle because if you use a candle your pumpkin starts to rot more faster it starts to cook itself and it's a fire hazard <laughs> so no thank you so what do you think about the pumpkin do you love it just like i do i'm super 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 proud and happy and exhausted i thought that i was gonna fail because for the first time pumpkin creation I should have done something more simpler, but I think I always complicate myself. I always have to do like complicated stuff no matter what. Have you guys celebrating Halloween this year? Have you made your pumpkin? How many have you done? Anything that you want to say, leave a comment below. So guys, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more kawaii videos or bodyguard videos. I wonder what should I do next year? Any idea? Leave a comment below. I really hope you liked this video. Thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.